Usually scientists are perceived in the general public almost like hermits at the top of the ivory tower, busy with numbers, with the sketches, designing uh, all sorts of things. And it couldn't be uh, a better surprise than a Nobel laureate is uh, designing uh, jewelry. I must say, uh, Danny, maybe this is the cornerstone laying ceremony of the art department of the Technion. CP is the inspiration of all these uh, jewelry pieces that I have made. Let me tell you the story of uh, how it started. I was looking for something to do in the evenings, and since I like to work with my hands, uh, yeah, some of you may know that I'm a frustrated uh, garage uh, <laughs> part. I really like to fix things and work with my hands. Uh, if they become dirty, it feels great. And uh, there was a wonderful place uh, for hobby. Uh, it was called the River Bend. I think River Bend. It was by the river there. And my teacher um, taught me in the, my, in the first class to make, to make lapidary. Lapidary is polishing stones, uh, not precious stones, just uh, nice stones for jewelry. At the end of the class, which took about one semester, I ended up with ten pieces, five couples of, of nice uh, polish stones and then I discovered that in the market I could buy uh, each one of them that looks exactly the same for one dollar each. <laughs> Bad business. So, so now I had ten stones and I need to do something with them and then I took a class in jewelry. Now jewelry, when you design jewelry, every piece is one of a kind. There's no such piece in the world. And that Sippy likes to uh, wear my jewelry. This piece is not one of mine. <laughs> because <laughs> I took all of them. <laughs> or at least the ones that, that we like. I am a material scientist, so I know the material. I know how to work the metals. I understand the metal better than the teacher. But the teacher understands the art better than I. Let me tell you just one thing that I've learned in the very beginning. I am an engineer, so whenever I make a piece of jewelry, immediately I think about a line of production, how thousands of them come out. Tuck, 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 tuck. It goes in my mind. And I work very fast. She said, no, no, no. You work very slowly on a piece of jewelry. Work with love. Work with attention. Pay attention to every detail. Do it slowly. You make a piece of jewelry for a hundred years, Invest one more hour in it, you know? So, it was not my idea, but I'm very happy to be here. I'm very happy that you all came to view these pieces. I don't consider it art. It's just an engineer making jewelry. Right? That's, that's what it is. I have no ambitions uh, to become an artist. I have no ambition to make any commercial products out of these. In this stage of my life, I just enjoy seeing them on CP, my wife, and thank you very much. Tonight, distinguished professor Danny Schechtman is going to join President Perez uh, to his uh, dinner with President Obama in Washington. And I know what President Obama is going to ask Danny and what Danny is going to respond to President Obama. President Obama will say, can you make a jewelry to my wife? <laughs> and Danny is going to say two things. First, you should stand in line with the King of Sweden. 
Second, let's start with the tie. Danny, thank you.